What's up guys? This is Killakai coming to you live. Well, live for me, not live for you. So I just made a brand new account. I want to make a beginner's guide and a series for it, almost like a walkthrough. So if there's any new players, they know what they're doing and they don't just play the game, die, get frustrated, then stop playing. Because I've met a couple people that kind of feel that way and I'm glad I got to help them along with the way. So this is just going to be a little guide. Also, this is prehistoric hunt. If you can't tell, we're going to be hunting dinosaurs and I absolutely love this game. Now, I want to mention something. Since I have two monitors, I have this game somehow on my left, which is not correct. So I need to go to options and then do windowed so I can just slide it over. I know you guys can't see that, but I just need to do it for myself. <laughs> yeah. And if that's happened to you, that's how you fix it. And while we're in options, this is what I have. Honestly, my PC can handle it. I know some others, it does lag a little bit, so you might need to lower your settings or quality, but this is what I have. Alrighty, so let's talk about the game, right? So there's a couple things that you have in the main screen, and that would be to play the character, options, credits, how to play, and whatnot. So I'm going to show you these beautiful characters so you can customize and look great. <laughs> so you get to choose beard or no beard up to you and then there's hats as well you get to unlock them when you get certain achievements so I think that's kind of cool that they included those as well and we'll back out of there let's look at options and then I should have just stayed here whoops so there's a video which I just showed you, there's audio, I'm going to have it a little bit louder because I enjoy hearing the dinosaurs noises and knowing what's around me so that's just personal preference. And then for the options, this is what I have for me and what works. Also since this is, I'm borrowing this game off of myself on Steam, this does not have automatic reload for you. so. It, it's quite convenient that it will do it automatically, but for you guys, it will be manual. So if you don't remember to reload and you want the game to do it for you, then you can just do automatic right here. And then controls. So controls, it's going to be for PC and you can use a controller as well. So I highly suggest for controllers to definitely look at this and know how to play <laughs> instead of run around and not know what to do and then it's just the common things here i'll go over some of the things when i get into the game the only thing that i really changed is holding breath i think it's q but i changed it to b since it's closer to space and it just makes more sense for me and then change your language if you don't speak english and then while we're here i'm going to show you the news so if you're not in their discord it will pop up the news of you know what's brand new in the game hence news <laughs> and it will show you some of the things so there's a trophy shot update there's pie balls and stuff like that so just keep in mind if you want to know up to date that's there if not i'm going to put their discord in my description and then you guys can go follow theirs as well and then Let's get into the play aspect of it. Now, in this game, you can go solo. You can make a multiplayer map, but have it private. And you can have up to 12 players. I don't suggest it. I really don't. This game is still in early access, so there, it's buggy. And it desyncs a lot when you have more than like three players. So keep that in mind. If you do separate, it's not as bad. But I've noticed that if you're really close to each other, it's a little... <sighs> funky but that's okay so you have solo private and then you can just make an open multiplayer game and then you can change your match name so we'll just make it Kai's beginner guide right you can do what you want call it what you want most of the time I call it chilling and killing because that's what I tend to do and then let's talk about the night link this isn't as important as it used to be before they added tent and we can get into that but for night link there is a normal which feels like forever there's a long that feels like eternity and then there's short which isn't that terrible and night hunting is fun it's a little creepy at times so it's up to you but you'll find aspects of night hunting to 
bite you in the butt when you want to use a flashlight to see. But you got to see that for yourself. So let's just wait, 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 before I leave this. There's a trophy lodge and I'm going to show the trophy lodge at the end of this so you guys can see how you can customize it. And there's mods in this game, but I don't know a dang thing about how or what, so we won't even get into that. But let's create a game. Let's do short nights and let's just jump right into it. Why am I so far away? Okay, well, since my game hates me, and I think it's, yeah, that's what it's doing. It's taking my, like, help and almost my save from my main account to this one. You should not be far away from this warehouse. So let's hope we can just survive for a little bit. But as you can see, straight in front of us, there's a Brachiosaurus, and while we're just roaming around, there's some Gallimimus. All right, we're just seeing everything. I'm going to show you guys how to shoot a Brachiosaurus uh, correctly, how I find it to be most useful. But before I get too far into this, I want to show you guys, if you click I, there is a scope that's hidden in your inventory. We can swipe it over, and then it will help just a little bit, not too much. But it's just the beginner stuff, so it's nothing too fancy. Got some Gallimimus chilling. And they are very vocal, if you can't tell. So we have this rifle and we have a starter pistol. It's pretty basic and you get, I want to say six, six rounds, seven rounds. Let's check it. Seven rounds, which is convenient when something's too close and you need to start blasting. But other than that, we're just gonna shoot this guy real quick and we're just gonna be on our merry way. I was hoping that wasn't a carnivore with a footstep. <laughs> so I'm gonna be paranoid since we're such a baby with like no help. It did a sturdy on this. That's a pie ball, so I guess this is a really good start we're having on this game. <laughs> Now, speaking of piebald, I really didn't want to get into this this early on, but since it's right in front of us, there are going to be rares in this game. So it's not just this normal common. There's going to be a rare, quote, quote, uncommon in this game. You'll know it looks a little different than this guy. There's piebald, so it's going to look like white and splotchy. There's going to be a melanistic, which is a black color. And then there will be an albino, which is a blinding white. Okay, so before this Giga kills us, let's shoot this Brachiosaurus in the chest, and I'm going to show you where to aim, because we're going to try to go for the heart. Alright, let's take a deep breath. Now, they'll move, and they can attack you, so I'm using the button to make us walk slowly backwards. <laughs> Don't worry about the animation, they're going to work on that. This is still an early access, like I said, so keep in mind. And this game is based on Vitals, Metal System, and Small, Medium, Large, like we're ordering a coffee. <laughs> so let's claim that kill and we'll just be on our way. Also to mention that in this game, why are they running? When dinosaurs start running, just be aware. It's like Jurassic Park. When the Gallimimus started running, you know what happened? That Rex came out and killed one right in front of that poor guy. All right, so this is a piebald. I like them. I think they look really cool. I was not expecting to see a piebald right when we launch in. That's the rare, I can already tell. So, I already know we're not going to have enough money to keep this guy, but I still want to shoot him when I get to him. So, you have stamina in this game, therefore you're going to run out of stamina. You're going to slow down, you're going to have to just walk slowly. It's a little frustrating, but there are things in the game that help with stamina, and we will get to that. Look at this guy. That's a rare. It has red on its back. Those are more uncommon. You'll see those pretty often. Alright, hi. Don't be 
anatomy. We're gonna try to get one more heart shot. Down he goes in a beautiful animation. That guy's fleeing because he's scared. We're going to pick up this guy real quick. So it's a diamond, 282. We hit it in the heart and lung, which is awesome. Too bad we can't tax this right now. So don't just claim the kill. If you can't afford it, I'm going to show you how to work with this. So in this game, the carnivores cannot hurt anything that you kill if you've already killed it. Therefore, it can just sit on the ground for about two hours to where you can hurry up, run around, shoot other dinosaurs, and get your money. And I'm going to show you how to get the money to afford these things. Because you don't just shoot the dinosaurs, get money, and then just go to a fast travel place. It's not that easy. The game makes you physically go turn either the contracts or the dinosaurs in it's a whole thing but we will get into that in a minute all right let's get this guy real quick I actually can show you what a contract is if you press o you can find contracts here and every four minutes you can get a new one but we're about to get attacked he's not happy with us we're hit firing by the way and reloading Tough one. Goodness, that was a lot of shots. It made me think I wasn't doing well. Let's look at this. So it's a gold. Yeah, I was hitting all lung. I guess since I wasn't hitting in the heart and it's a weaker weapon, it just didn't want to die. So we are going to get an achievement. I'm gonna have to take screenshots because they'll pop up when you get gold and diamonds in this game. And it's pretty cool. We all love achievements and thinking, hey, we're doing something right. So finally, we're getting to this exclamation mark. And that is going to be your fast travel area. That's what I call it. But the short version is what the name is. It's called a warehouse. So this is where you can... It scared me. There's an Anki over there. Therefore, we are going to go over here and I'm going to show you what these icons mean since we did not start where we needed to. This is kind of messed up my guide just a touch, but that's fine. So as you can see with the Z's, these are I'm gonna wait, a new feature and you can now sleep through the night when you come up and interact with these tents. They can be on various spots of the map as well. All right, we got a mission complete and we got a hundred coins. So that means we can afford that Brachiosaurus. So that's good. Stocking up, stock up on some vital equipment to help you on your hunt and journey and purchase the rifle, ammunition and med kit. Hold on, we're about to get attacked, I think. You might be fine. Now you might think that herbivores are actually really nice, but some of these will attack you if you are too close to them. Just gonna stress that I don't want you guys to think, oh, I'm gonna be safe in this game because there's 13 dinosaurs and 12 of them can kill you. So we're gonna let that vocal guy go and I'm gonna show you what these icons are here at your fast travel areas because every place that you're gonna go, you're gonna have all these things. So this is a stash slash storage. And this is pretty much when you start buying collars or a bunch of bulk equipment, you're gonna put it over here because in this game, if you die, you lose some of your equipment or your inventory. So you have to go back to that area, go pick it up or just buy new, whatever you prefer. But just keep in mind, this helps if you need backup stuff. This is where you can turn in contracts and your dinosaurs that you kill. So let's do that. So as you can see, we got 50 coins we're gonna get. So 180, nothing too crazy. And while we're here, it's not just submitting your contracts and trophies, you actually can shop and whatnot, your little mini Amazon, <laughs> and it's gonna have your rifles that you can buy. There's heavy rifles, there's tranquilizers, there's pistols, shotguns, bows, ammunition, Utilities, so there's going to be health packs, energy packs, binoculars, tracking device, 
camouflage net and flares. Flares are on the newer side. They're actually really cool and I will show those off in this series as well. And keep in mind, if you do missions, you don't have to buy this. You do not have to buy the binoculars, the tracking device, or the camouflage net. They come free if you do the mission. So let's say you click it. It's going to be like, hey, you can obtain this from a mission. So don't waste your coins because you can actually get them for free. And then we have collars. So we have everything. We have collars up to everything except for the raptors, the pterodons, and all the carnivores. You can't get collars for those. And then upgrades on storage. That comes in handy when you just have too much stuff like me. What was that noise? What happened? Okay. I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> Let's just uh, go back in. I think I might be having some internet issues, honestly. I think this game hates me. So if you crash in this game and you leave a dinosaur dead, this is a fresh population every single time you play. Therefore, we just lost that pie ball Brachiosaurus due to a crash. And I'm actually a little upset about that. Um, as you can see, these guys are alive, doing well, and they're respawn, quote, quote, it's a new population. Therefore, let's go back to the warehouse and try to finish off what I was saying, and then we can move on, do some missions and stuff like that. If you haven't figured it out already, how to run in this game. So you're just pressing W and you're pressing shift. And then you can move how you want to with your mouse. Nothing crazy. And yeah, you don't have to think you have to walk the entire time. Now we were here and I can't remember where we left off. I want to say I talked about everything. Maybe. <laughs> oh, we didn't get to talk about sites. There's just different sites you can buy that get better and better as you go. And that's how this game is, and you'll find that out. You'll earn money by contracts and killing dinosaurs to get better equipment. And then you're pretty much grinding or playing to get cool trophies to put in your trophy lodge. Now, let's talk about this. That scared me. That is a Triceratops, by the way. This is what I call a almost like a pickup point. It's your helicopter. It makes, it helps you fast travel. A bunch of triceratops, by the way. So you can press E and then you see at the top right, you cannot fast travel. You have not found your locations. And speaking of that, if you guys don't want to have something spoiled, I'm about to show everyone the fast travel areas and the other blue icons of discovered areas. So if you don't want to see this, just kind of close your eyes for like maybe 10 seconds, but I'm going to throw up my map here. And if you guys want to screenshot it, this is where they are. The fast travel areas are going to be mainly around the coast and then one in the middle. And yeah, we have some exploring to do as well, but let's look. There's a question mark here. So let's click it. And this is a castaway note. Day one, this is Frank, likely the only inhabitant on this island. If you find this note, you've probably seen the news report of a cargo plane gone missing somewhere above the Pacific Ocean. I was on that plane. The plane crashed into the ocean, I guess two days ago. I somehow, and somehow I survived. I have no idea if anyone else survived. I found this abandoned structure for shelter. Somehow the name Preton, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Corporation, it sounds familiar, but can't remember why. I hope there's a radio or something I can use to call rescue. Hopefully, they made me laugh every time, sorry. Hopefully they will find me soon. Planes have location systems and hopefully pinpoint my location. I've barely slept because I hear some big animals in the distance. Don't really want to go check them out. So this game is going to kind of tell its story when you find these notes in certain areas. So anytime you see a gray question mark, it's a discoverable item. So you should check it out. So let's go see what's top. Wait, wait, we didn't even get to do the mission. That's what happened. If I've got it right, I don't think the mission 
got to pop up because I crashed. So let's go to this clipboard up top and we're just going to start the mission and we're gonna stock up. So let's click here. Let's go to the shopping cart. Let's go to ammunition. It's gonna tell you, hey, this is a mission item. Let's get that because we definitely need the ammo. And then I saw something about a med kit. Let's do that as well. I'm gonna buy two because I need it. Because <laughs> I'm not trying to die. And we only have six HP. So with that six HP, this will only give you, hey, we got binos, cool. Sorry, I ruined that. <laughs> and we got 70 coins. Now we have another mission. Many dinosaurs can be baited with collars. Try this with a, with a ceratops, yes. Triceratops, buy a triceratops collar and get a triceratops baited. All right, we're gonna start that mission as well. But before we do that, let's just use our med kit. So we're gonna click I, we're gonna click on it and do use. It only gives you, if you can see down at the left corner, 50. So we need to do one again because we need that full 100%. Now, since it sounds like there's a lot of Triceratops around, let's hurry up and buy that collar. Submission item again. Let's buy it, let's click I, let's put our binoculars at four and let's put our Triceratops collar at five. And let's grab the collar out and let's kind of wander around, look for the Triceratops. It sounds like they're pretty close but all fails, you can click O and it shows you some missions of pay, missions, shows you some contracts. And you can click on that, go back to M and go to map. It's gonna show you a circle of where these suggested dinosaurs are. Now, what I would do is put a pinpoint in the middle of the map, so that's right clicking. And if you want it to disappear, do the right click again. So let's go find these guys. Oh. So you can use it and get it automatically. Okay. Item added into inventory, tracking device. Okay, so let's grab that tracking device and put it over at six, since that's there. Find equipment, find equipment on the loot boxes that are scattered all over the island. Locate a loot box. Okay, so I guess we'll just come across a loot box and eventually get that mission done. Now here is a rare Triceratops and I call these uncommon. You will see these quite often, but these guys can get aggressive and I'm gonna let you hear it as you hear it. <laughs> they can get mean. Sometimes if you back away from them enough, they will stop being aggressive. Just a heads up. But if you want to shoot it, then let's shoot it. I'm gonna back up while I do this. I'm trying to miss its head. Ooh. And when they get really close, I tend to hit fire. So that means instead of using the right mouse button, if that is the term, I just click the left and just start blasting. So he's a gold and everything was vital except for the neck. So stomach will be a vital and clearly the lungs will be a vital as well. Now let's fill the contract because nothing wrong with getting some extra money. Contracts are a good way of making extra coins and that's what this game's gonna come down to. You're gonna wanna get as many coins as possible to get the next best upgrade. We are back again and I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little bit scared. We did get to level two, so good for us, but let's, honestly, I'm gonna try to do solo. <laughs> In short nights, maybe that can, it's like an offline server. I don't know how it works with this game, but I am terrified of crashing one more time. You know, snow and wind, it's gonna do it to you. So I apologize. Thank you all for being patient. Okay, where are we? We are 
pretty far from where we ended up and just to let you know whenever it spawns you in it's not always close to the fast travel or the place that you were so we were right about here and it decided to put us here so now i just want to let you guys know this is going to be kind of an adventure we're just going to kind of roam around i do know where the fast travel places are and since we have a hundred percent health and we have a decent amount of ammo we are just gonna go i want to say it's right over here but before we get there we're gonna go to this gray question mark because it is something to discover and while we are getting to this question mark i want to let you guys know on the bottom left side and my guy's dying you can see that there is like a little diploma looking thing those are contracts it has an exclamation mark that means there's new ones so just press o and see what's around let's do the brachiosaurus that's pretty easy for us and then we can look at the map real quick and we can see that they are closer to the warehouse there's a triceratops over there so this as a stash so earlier we did see the storage a storage and stash are the same exact thing well we don't have much to put over there so we're not going to worry about these but it's just a convenient whenever you're wandering around the map and you can just put extra things that you buy in there so you don't lose it when you die that noise is a distant pteranodon they can be a pain and just a heads up when you are in higher areas like on these little hills and mountains you are more prone to be seen by them and they will swoop down and attack you so we have a cute little rare triceratops this feels like deja vu since that is the last thing that we did end up killing <laughs> before we crashed he is cruising and like I said, if they get a certain amount distance wise, they will try to attack you. So let's try to shoot him now. I don't know how that hit there, but I don't want to hit him in the head. But it's bound to happen. He's running off. You can hit fire or you can use your scope, whatever you find more convenient. Sometimes when they're just that close, it's really hard to get your scope and then not be able to see where you're aiming. So he is a gold. I did hit him in the head, neck, and spine, and those are not vital shots. So that is why my integrity is at 90 instead of 100 or higher up because I was, I only made two good shots technically. So let's claim that kill. And let's just keep moving on to where, oops, I messed up there, to where the waypoint is over here. We're going to get to this fast travel place and we are going to be able to unlock one more area. So then that means we can fast travel back to the warehouse if we please. So right now I am auto walking and all you have to do is tap C for that and you can be hands free if you're just waiting for your stamina to build back up. I personally do that because it's more convenient and who wants to just keep pressing down something when you don't have to and we are just gonna keep going now let's look at this real quick this is a track clearly and we can investigate it is a patchy I will not be saying this full name because I cannot say it but we can follow the track and I'm just gonna show you guys that it will light up blue and it will show you where the next track will be it's a really cool tool honestly and when it comes down to you shooting at the dinosaur it will show you if you made a vital shot or a non-vital shot and it will bleed just a little bit out and it will show you when the blood will stop and then if you can find that dinosaur it will always show the track so you know where it's going but you got to keep in mind in this game these dinosaurs interact with each other so the carnivores can pretty much eat all the herbivores and the other carnivores can attack each other and kill each other it's very interesting and i actually love the aspect of it but it is heartbreaking when you see something cool on the map and then you die from the carnivore and then the carnivore eats that thing that you were after it is just a love-hate relationship when it comes to it but it's still a blast to see a game act that way so we're just going to build our stamina up just a little bit more and i actually did want to pause and tell you guys that there are 13 dinosaurs on this game and if you want to you know play this game blind and not know all the dinosaurs and I suggest you just kind of 
mute for 30 seconds while I ramble really quickly. But I'm going to show you guys where it is. It's going to be in this little bar section and it's the stats. So it's going to be the T-Rex, the Triceratops, the Anki, the Brachiosaurus, the Compi, the Pteranodon, Iguanodon, Utah Raptor, Giganotosaurus, Carnotaurus, Gallimimus, Patchy, because I'm not saying the full thing, and Spinosaurus. So those are the 13 dinosaurs that are on this map. And like I said earlier, 12 of them want to kill you. The Gallimimus will not kill you. Those are the only ones that won't hurt you, but everything else can do some damage. All right, so I was right with my little waypoint. And speaking of pteranodons in that list, I have my binoculars and there it goes over there. That is a common one. They're almost pinkish looking, but when they fly over you at times in a distance, it does look a little bit like a pale white and it kind of gets confusing, but that is not a rare, it's not anything special. I did hear an Anki over here. I'm not sure where it is. I'm gonna get my gun out just to make sure. Like I said, everything can go aggressive except for one dinosaur. And we are all, minus the compies, we're pretty much smaller than everything. I guess if this guy attacks, I'll show you the mechanic of knowing if it's just flying by or attacking. So it's making its noise and it's just flying by and that is fine. Usually when they attack you, you'll notice as they call pretty much, I don't know the term for that, they will turn back to you. It is a little bit harder when you are in the foresty areas and you just hear the noise and you can't see them, but they can still swoop in in the forest area so you could be just minding your business you know just walking or running around and they swoop in get some damage and you're like what on earth so i would just look up anytime you really hear it close and make sure you don't see its head coming straight for you so we have some more contracts i see that exclamation mark uh the train it on we can do compies i think that would be a fun one all right, so we have two question marks here. So let's eventually get close enough when our stamina allows us. And actually, I think now I'm gonna show you how to fast travel and how to use stamina when we get to the warehouse. So this is pretty much a fast travel area. It's gonna have the same exact things that we had at the warehouse. So you're gonna have your contracts that you can turn in and those dinosaurs. You can have the, or well, the kills of the dinosaurs. You can have your pickup point or your helicopter to chauffeur you away. You get your storage and over there you had your tent. What was I doing? Oh, right. So let's interact with this note like we did with the warehouse. Day 25, well, we've missed a lot from log one to log eight, but that's fine. Day 25, oh boy, was I happy to see this from afar, but the boat is beach and I'll never get it back in the water. And the smell of the engine compartment is so terrible that probably all the fuel has gone bad. I found some papers inside this saying it belonged to a fisherman called Thomas Forrester. What the hell was he doing here? Frank. 25 days, Frank was really trying to get off this island. Okay, poor Frank, I feel bad for him, but we're stuck here too. I see something in the distance, let's look out there. It is a rare Anki, and I say rare because there is green. Ooh, there is green on the underside of him. And when we find another one, you're gonna notice it is a darker color than what that is. I guess it's gonna rain now. Since we made it shorter nights, nice, just a heads up, time flies on these servers, so you're just gonna go through a bunch of weather mechanics in the game. So we have the Pteranodon we need to be aware of because when we shoot this Anki, your gunshots are going to attract other dinosaurs or make them fly away. It all just depends on how close they are. So I'm gonna show you how these guys get aggressive. You're gonna hear him. Oh, he didn't make a noise. I'm gonna try to shoot in front or behind.
behind his leg. So I'm. This is where I'm gonna. Okay. Well, I'm gonna show you where I try to aim it when they're front on, right in front of the leg or right behind the leg in the crease. So we got lung and heart both times. We got a diamond rare. This is the one we can actually tax. Please don't crash, please don't crash. Okay, let's tax this now. And just a heads up, you can't claim and tax at the same time. So you are sacrificing those coins that you make when you are taxing a dinosaur. But when you do tax, this helicopter will come and pick up your dinosaur. I forgot to take a trophy shot with this guy. Okay, next cool dinosaur we get, if it's not a Brachiosaurus, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a trophy shot because that is brand new to the game. Okay, keep, keep going. Anyway, so when you tax something or let's say you do a contract, that dinosaur will be picked up by a helicopter. And from what I notice, they respawn when you go out of that render. So there is an instant respawn. I'm gonna look around, make sure I'm not gonna get swooped on. So therefore, when you do that, you get an instant respawn. But if you're just shooting dinosaurs without a contract or taxing, I've noticed that they stay on the ground for a couple hours. So that means you're not getting that respawn. I could be wrong, there could be another one. But when I notice, excuse me, When I notice, oh my goodness, going back to those specific areas I've been to before, those dinosaurs will still be there and there will not be a new one, if that makes sense. All right, we're doing good. There's Brachiosaurus over here, but we are just gonna keep going on the coast, like I've said. Close your ears if you don't want spoilers. On the coast, you will find most of your fast travel places. So we're just gonna keep going right here. And I think when we get to this fast travel area, we are gonna end this episode. And then we're gonna start again. And hopefully next time I go to a fast travel place, I, ooh, there's a loot box. That's our mission, I forgot. When we crashed, I didn't get to find one. Good. So the green icon is going to show you, hey, this is a box, you should surely check it out. But in reality, the green box is a loot box. So that will have various items in it. It could be ammo, it could be a med kit, it could be a battery pack. And I really hope it's a battery pack because I need help with my stamina. Okay. Dang it. There's a med kit, which is fine. Oh, hey, look. We got that camo net from the mission. Cool. Sorry for the beeping. 40 coins, not bad, and 60 XP. All right, let's grab the rest of this. I'm gonna grab the arrows and we're gonna grab the rifle as well, the ammunition, sorry. And let's just take <laughs> that med kit because it will give you the 50, like I said. And right now we went from 29 to 79, which is gonna help because in case we get attacked by anything, we won't die instantly. Log nine, day 43. I think I might've found a way out. This boat should be big enough for the high seas. Well, I think it is. My dad is an enthusiast boater and how I wish I would've joined him even once for a boating trip to learn something. One can be so stupid and only realize it when I'm in terrible trouble. What a ghost from the past. I'll start off with the sail and I will try to get the engine running. I should have enough food and water to last for a month. I must find a shipping lane or something to get someone to pick me up. Wish me luck, Frank. Oh, it's nighttime now. Well, Frank, I hope you made it out. The boat's not there, so that should be a good sign, right? That's a long time being on this island. Okay, so my guesstimation of where this fast travel place is going to be about 700 meters. Hopefully we don't run into anything too mean on this side. There is a lot of dinosaurs that are on this part. I am not going to spoil it even more than I should, just in case you guys don't want to know. But what is that? That is an iguanodon. I remember first starting and I thought those were friendly, so I just ran past it. 
and it attacked me and it scared me so badly because I just was not prepared. I was so naive when I started this game. So let's just have our gun out, and that's the noise that they make, just in case it decides to be mean. I don't know where that pteranodon is right now, but I think we're in the clear. Oh, there it is, up there. I'm, just, I'm gonna pause so it doesn't hear me or see me. Okay, we're in the clear. Let's keep moving on. Also, I wanted to let you guys know there is a flashlight in the game and that is if you press F. Like I said, if you're on controller, I'd highly suggest looking at the controls. I should have wrote them down for you. I am so sorry in advance. But if you look at the bottom right of the screen, you can see we're pretty loud and the dinosaurs can pretty much hear us. But when you press the flashlight, it is the eye is pretty much bright and wide open and orange. And that means anything can see you around except Especially the pteranodons. They will just have a field day and swoop and attack you. Luckily, we've avoided them pretty good. So, let's just get to this question mark. I was just a little bit off by like 100 meters. Not too bad. Looks like a decent... Scared me. Structure. Have our gun back out just in case. You never know. I hear something to our left. Let's creep around and see. I want to say it's a Triceratops, if I know this game correctly. But I don't see it, so I don't know. Oh, it's an Anki. Oh, it's mad. So that is the common Anki. And like I said, oh, it's still alive. I thought it was dead. <laughs> oh, goodness. And I was trying to aim, like I said, for right in the front here or right in the back. I think I might have missed just a touch. Okay, so we did get the long but We got armor as well. And that does mess with the integrity just by one percent and then the rest were still vital shots we're going to claim that guy since he's just a common <laughs> i can't believe i thought he was dead and he wasn't that was hilarious now i think that iguanodon did spook since i did shoot but that's okay i'm sure we will see that in the next episode because since we are at this fast travel area it should put us back close to this spot all right, so like I said, at every single fast travel area, you are going to have the same exact equipment, pretty much. And since we discovered this, we did get XP and some coins as well. But I think at this rate, we are going to turn in our contracts and our trophies. As you can see, we got two trikes and we got an Anki. We're going to claim our rewards. We had 231. Now I do want to think, what do I want to go after next? Because my weapons are pretty weak. And I think the next, next weapon that I personally would like better, because a lot of dinosaurs seem to be very close, will be this revolver. I want to get rid of this little pistol, and I would rather the revolver. It seems like the damage is pretty good compared to what this is. And the fire rate's 58. 47 it just depends i think it will do pretty well when it comes to damage so that's what i'll work on next now i have a goal on what i want to reach 600 is pretty steep but i'll show you in the next episode when we get more fast travel areas and we do more contracts how it is possible it's daytime already let me get away from the sound real quick it's driving me nuts and yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the next episode. Um, comment down below what you guys would like to see and what you would want me to talk about in case I missed a bunch of things with all this chaotic mess that I've had today. But thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!